You are welcome to my channel. Today I'll be talking about lung cancer in an individual who is not smoking. And that will lead me to radon or secondhand smoking. Now, causes of lung cancer without smoking. So many people have been affected worldwide and there's a lot of confusion because a lot of people believe that once you are diagnosed with lung cancer, then you must be smoking. In fact, there was a family that had you know, this type of situation that caused a lot of headache. They believed that the man was secretly smoking. But we explained to them, I think if they could listen to this presentation again, they will appreciate better. So, it's not everybody diagnosed with lung cancer that must have been smoking before then. If it is not secondary to cigarette smoking, what else could cause lung carcinoma? Number one, radon. Secondhand smoking is possible when your partner is smoking and you sit down there all the time to inhale it. You can come down with lung cancer. Air pollution, asbestosis. It could be genetic in origin, like family history of lung cancer, or unfortunately, you are dealing with DNA mutations. Now, radon. Radon is a radioactive gas, some call it an element, that is colorless, odorless, and tasteless. So it's very difficult to perceive it. It is from the natural breakdown or radioactive decay of substances like uranium or tyrium, but more from uranium. So it's a radioactive substance, radioactive gas. It is really fun. But when it is found naturally, it will be found in tiny quantities. I think that is pretty good, right? But it has a very high density. And because of that, it is found underground. It's not one of those gases that you are gonna find you no know, just flying around everywhere. No. It's found underground. It is soluble in organic liquids and also soluble in water. Radon availability is all around us, in igneous rocks or metamorphic rocks. So to geologists who are dealing with rocks, well, be careful. In limestone, now we are, you know, the mine limestone and cement is manufactured and so on. Mm. Mining size, many mining sites with poor ventilation, radon could be found there. Radon is found in the soil, like I've said, is you know, the type of gas that is very, very dense. So it's not up, it's down. It's found on the ground or in, in the soil there. It's found in well water or ground water more than surface water. It is not that it is absolutely absent in surface water, but compared to well water, ground water, it is more in well and ground water. Radon is also available in spring waters or hot springs. So to those on vacation, you know, going around springs, drinking, swimming, Mm -hmm. Now, to everyone, it's found in the basements, basements of many, many houses. It's found in indoor air, also in petroleum and natural gas industries. So some people could have worked in these industries for long, no period of time, and later on in life, without smoking, they come down with lung cancer. 
heating and ventilation at home can trigger radon getting into our homes through the floor. Radon will also get to us through cracks in solid foundation, through cracks in walls, cracks in construction joints, gaps in the floor, gaps around service pipes, cavities inside the walls in our homes, and through the water supply to our homes. Now, radon and lung cancer. Radon is the first, or you can say the common cause of lung cancer in non-smokers. I don't smoke, so I'm at risk also based on this fact. Radon is also the second to only smoking in cause of lung cancer generally. So smoking and radon, they are almost equal in causing lung cancer. Now, when radon causes lung cancer, it will mostly cause adenocarcinoma in about 50 to 60% of affected individuals. The adenocarcinoma means that the cancer begins inside the cells lining the alveolus and it will be producing mucus. When radon causes lung cancer, in about 10 to 20% of affected individuals, it will form squamous cell lung cancer. Okay? And that will begin in flat cells lining the inside of the lungs. And in about 5 to 10% of affected individuals, it will form small cell lung cancer. And of course, other groups of cancers affecting the lungs are not ruled out. How do we prevent this unwanted you know, phenomenon? You body house. You are not smoking. You are not taking alcohol. And one day at your old age, you know, a doctor tells you, after going through some investigations, you no, know, triggered by the presentation to him that you have lung cancer, then you are confused. Oh, check out. It might be this presentation that will help you. Radon. Prevention, they say, is cheaper than kill. That is, if the situation is even curable at all. Now, prevention. Avoid secondhand smoking. Avoid diesel exhaust. Avoid other smokes or pollutants. Part of prevention is installation of radon mitigation system. As a matter of fact, this is approved by so many head authorities in many countries of the world. So, installation of radon mitigation system can harmlessly disperse the radon in our homes and make our homes habitable again. You can make use of some slab depressurization method, or simply called SSD, and that is the best. I'm not a marketer for them, but the truth be told, you can seal up all cracks. In your home particularly in the basement particularly in the floor of the basement please seal them up steal and prevention please before mind that home and moving into that old house have that home inspected and tested for radon okay most homes we have a level of radon it can you know, be that you make use of plastic detector that will be placed in different rooms at different layers of the house and should be left there for three months. In fact, some authorities will specifically state 90 days. So leave it there for 90 days. Geologists should watch out. 
still on prevention because the essence of my channel is to prevent suffering and death. So prevention is what I'm after the most. You can decrease rhythm by placing ventilation bricks in outside walls, or you can install small palms in the loft that gently blows air you know, around. You can follow World Health Guideline on Radar. And what is that? World Health has given the instruction that maximum amount permitted at home is 100 becurers per cubic meter. Some countries, however, like Canada, will be more lenient and permit up to 200 BQ per cubic meter for radon indoor air. Okay, lastly on prevention, medical checkup regularly will be good. And why that? Radon takes a long time before showing signs and symptoms. As a matter of fact, by the time you start you know, picking signs and symptoms, you are already having the cancer. Mining sites should have good ventilation. The miners should not you know, be dying you know, at the middle age of their lives because radon has given them lung cancer. Watch it. If you have to be taking ground or spring water continuously all the time, then repeat this uh, presentation listing again. Be careful. Let inspection deter radon at petroleum and gas industries. Please, let that be inspection. Detect radon there. And determine the level. If it's at safe level, fine. If not, let actions be taken. Once signs and symptoms are seen, then you are almost, or one can actually take a guess, you already have lung cancer. Now, what are the signs and symptoms of radon-induced lung carcinoma? It's not different from signs and symptoms of cancer of the lungs generally. Cough, hemoptysis, chest pain, shortness of breath, wheezing, weight loss, fatigue, worsening of voice, decreased appetite, frequent pneumonia. The risk of radon is one in every 15 homes. Okay? Breathing a high level of radon for a long time can damage the sensitive cells of the lungs and thereby predisposing you to lung cancer. It is worse in smokers who are exposed to radon at the same time. You could see, that is double barrel, right? C cigarette smoking on its own could give you lung cancer. Now you are living in the home or mining or your workplace or living in a basement with a cracked floor and then in an area with high level of radon, then you, it's likely you are not going to escape coming down with lung cancer. Indoor exposure to high level without good ventilation for a long time is the highest risk. What is the pathophysiology of radon that would then lead to lung cancer? Number one, we start from the origin. Radioactive substances or compounds like uranium will release radon gas now via the process of radioactive decay. These will be found in the soil, in the rust, in the basement of your house, in the water, in wells, and the list goes on. Poor ventilation, heating system in the house, we all let this come up and then you know, going into our rooms from the basement. Radon would then be inhaled. If it is inhaled at high quantity for a long time, we're in soup, we're in trouble. The radioactive particles will then be formed in the lungs. And when they are formed in the lungs, they will be causing small balls of energy, and that energy will damage the lungs. 
prolonged inflammation or lung damage will lead to lung cancer. Finally, the treatment. Well, if unfortunately you are down with lung cancer, despite the fact that you've not been smoking, like I told you, I don't smoke, but then, based on this, if I've been exposed to radon, yeah, like just any other person who has not been smoking, you can come down with lung cancer. And many people are trying to quit smoking as well. That's good to hear. Now, regardless of how, once lung cancer is diagnosed, the next thing is to be treated like any other lung cancer. There is no need crying over spilled milk. The worst has been done. Radon has caused this. Or second hand smoking has been responsible. Anyway, we have to make that determination that there's lung cancer. And once that has been done, we must begin all the necessary interventions as per lung cancer treatment. Lung cancer caused by radon is not different when it comes to treatment as like lung cancer caused by smoking. So, let the information be passed across. The fact that they're not smoking doesn't rule out the possibility of coming down with lung cancer. Thanks for listening. Remember to share this very presentation and remember to subscribe to my channel so that you can get all my presentations immediately they are published. I appreciate it.